Thank you all for joining us today. Today we're going to read from Ephesians 1.18. And it says, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints and the incomparable great power for us who believe. You see, this is Paul's prayer for the church. We have to know that there is a hope that we have been called to. We are prisoners of hope. Usually, prisoners do not have hope. There is no hope for life, for enjoyment, for freedom. But we are called as prisoners of hope. We are called to hope in all circumstances and situations. As children of God, we do not live life without hope. Because you see, even in death, there is hope. We also want to take note that there is an incomparable great power available to us who believe. And that there is a glorious inheritance found in the saints. Now Paul does not say here that there is riches of his glorious inheritance in God. Paul rather says that there is riches of his glorious inheritance in each of us, his people. So you are a carrier of God's glorious inheritance. We all are. And we as a church, each of us individually, are glorious inheritance carriers. So how do we know what does another believer carry? How do we know what that glorious inheritance is? We cannot know unless we are in fellowship with each other. And I think that's a reason why God placed the riches of His glorious inheritance in each of us. It is so that we realize the importance of each other, the importance of His body, and how much we need one another. We are all different, and I believe that everything in each of us is very differently placed by the Spirit of God. So the glorious inheritance in you would probably be different from the glorious inheritance that He has placed inside of me. And in order to glean that out, we need to be in fellowship with one another. We need to be able to honor one another and be able to pull out of each other the glorious inheritance that He has placed in us. Now, this is for the benefit of the body. The glorious inheritance that He has placed in us it is, I think, a very strategic plan by God Himself so that His body is united. We all read that not all of us are a, an eye or not all of us are a hand. We all are different parts of the body. We all need one another. And as we are in fellowship with one another, as we learn to honor one another and love one another, we are able to tap into the glorious inheritance that is placed inside our brother and our sister. Remember that we are not islands. We are the body of the Lord and we need to be in unity under the headship of Christ. So let us walk in the band of unity, in the bond of unity. Let us walk knowing that there is a glorious inheritance in our brother and our sister and we should not be quick to judge and discount one another. May God bless us with his words.